Welcome to the open house for the special areas at CB Star. We as special area teachers would love to welcome you um, and give you a little oversight of our specials team and our plans for the year. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Mrs. McElhaney. I'm the art teacher. We have Mr. George, our library media specialist, Coach Morehouse and Coach Amuso Phys Ed, and Mr. Inga, our music teacher. We are so excited to uh, be back in this new school year and welcoming all of our students back. We'd like to take this opportunity to bring you into our classes and tell you a little bit about our plans for the year so you have an overview of what your students will be doing in each of our subject areas. So let's head into the art room. Welcome to Art at TV Star. So glad to have you here. My name is Mrs. Michelini and I am the art teacher at CB Star. I am so looking forward to being back in the classroom with the students, experiencing their imaginations, their creativity, and seeing what concepts they come up with and create this year. Art is 40 minutes long. Uh, the students meet once a week on a day of the week, whichever is assigned to their homeroom. Our projects vary with each grade level, um, but all have a focus on the elements of art as an overall umbrella, and then most have an art history component kind of woven in to their work. If you ever would like more information about our art program, uh, you can visit your student's Google Classroom, uh, and my art site is attached to that and has some of our videos and uh, overall general information. You can see we kind of live by the B rules in the classroom. Um, I grade by the four C's and um, we are having a learning in opportunity in art to develop and grow and that is all kind of outlined here on this slide. I am looking forward to a great year with your students. I have some big plans for projects uh, with a variety of ideas and mixed media and um, the use of several different art materials so that your students can not only learn the concepts that we're learning but also the different materials and how they may work together in the future. I am excited to start the year with them and to create some masterpieces together and I hope that uh, we can touch base on your students experience throughout the year. Thanks so much! Now let's head into the library with Mr. George. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. George and I'm the library teacher. Welcome to the CV Star Library. This year we have lots of fun things planned for our students. First of all, they get to check out books this year. Your students, or your children actually, get to check out two books at a time from our library. We have an awesome collection of over 11,000 books for them to choose from, both fiction and nonfiction. We ask that your child brings their book back every week on their library day. If they're finished, they can return the book, and if not, they can always renew the book, which means they can check it out for another week. We have a wonderful space here in CV Star where your children will be learning lots of wonderful things this year and having a lot of fun while doing it. We will learn about digital citizenship and research skills. We will also be learning about different types and genres of literature, and it is going to be a really fun year together. If you ever have questions or concerns throughout the year, please feel free to reach out to me at pgeorge at brewsterschools.org. Have a wonderful year and keep reading, CV Star! Next, let's head into the gym with your coaches. Hi, welcome to CV Star Physical Education. I'd like to introduce you to our staff, our teachers that your students may have in their physical education class. We have Coach Joe Amuso, Coach Rob McCollum, and myself, Coach Janine Morehouse. So we have over here, Coach Amuso, myself, and Coach McCollum. 
students will have phys ed class for 40 minutes for two times a week. Uh, this very quickly is our gym, as you can see Here's it spanning. Our TV star gym, so you can get a look at what our gym looks like. Here is our CV star gym. And next we'd like to go over the expectations with you. This is what the students see. Very quickly, I'm going to focus mostly on the come prepared. Students must have sneakers when they enter into the gym. There are no exceptions. No boots, no Crocs, no sandals or flip flops are allowed. They must have sneakers on. And we really don't mind what kind of sneaker it is. They just need to be tight to the student's foot so they do not come off their feet, especially if we're doing activities such as kicking or running or jogging. We want the sneaker to stay on their feet. And then they need to wear shorts or pants. We do not allow dresses or skirts. The type of movement that we're doing, those types of apparel are not appropriate, especially at the three to five level. Uh, the other ones are listening to and following directions. I'm sure you can understand in the gym, as we're all moving at the same time, that listening to and following the directions would be very important for safety reasons. We ask that the students try everything. We will expose them to many different activities and um, different types of equipment even, and we just ask that they give everything a try. Even if they have never experienced it or have worked with that type of equipment, um, just giving their 100% with whatever it is we're doing. And if that all happens, they will have a good time in class. We want them to have fun. It's fun for us and we want it to be fun for them. Here's a quick look at our grading rubric. Uh, the students can see this and they can assess themselves pretty much daily. Um, I don't need to read it to you. You can read through it um, and see where they would be falling. Um, if anyone is in the one range, we are having conversations with them. It's very rare that that happens, but should it, um, then we will talk to them about what needs to be done in order to get themselves up. Um, if you put words with the numbers, one would be like a needs improvement, two would be satisfactory, three is good, and four is where that outstanding comes in. And depending on our report cards for that year, you may see a number, you may see the wording that is associated with that, or you may see a comment, or you may see a combination of all. So that's kind of what it looks like um, in the gym. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to us at any point. Email is the best because it's easier for us to look at that and then respond to that versus a phone call. Uh, we're not always in our office because we are out in the gym and our classes are back to back. Uh, so the easiest way to reach us would be through email and we would respond to you that way. If a phone call is necessary or warranted, we could obviously set up a time to uh, do that. That would be something that we could do through the email and then set up a time to speak over the phone. All right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your open house and look forward to seeing you in person. Take care, bye. And finally, we have music with Mr. Inga. Hello everyone, my name is Jorge Inga. I am a first year general music teacher at CV Star from grades three through five. I met a lot of your kids already and I'm super excited to be working and collaborating with them for this upcoming year. A little bit about myself, I went to the College of St. Rose in Albany. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in uh, music education K through 12 with a concentration in guitar, piano, and vocals. Uh, for this coming year for all your students, we are going to be focusing on a lot of different units, primarily focusing on rhythmic notation, ear training, and integrating musical genres and different cultures in, in their units. I think it's important for them to be integrated and understand and consume a lot of uh, the music around them because uh, I think it just makes them uh, open-minded and very versatile as the years go by at CB Star. Uh, I also speak two languages, so padres, si necesitan contactarme, me pueden contactar por el correo electrónico en el cita de, de, de Booster. So if there's any questions at all, we are having an open house on Wednesday 22nd at 5.30 to 6.15. So if you have any questions about the music curriculum or just want to pop in and say hi and just talk, you may, you are free to do so. So nice meeting you all and hope to see you soon. Take care. So that's a glimpse into all of our classrooms. Hopefully it answers some of your questions. Thank you so much for coming and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions at all. Here are all of our email addresses and we look forward to speaking with you at some point this year. Thanks.